In this example, we're going to look at creating a basic query filter, selecting a specific hole that we need to find for some reason. But this workflow also works for other columns that you have available. Any filter you create underneath the color table will also be available in subsequent uh, other tables related to the color table. So let's begin by right clicking on the color table and creating a new query filter. In this case, we can either type the where statement or we can use the sheet button here with the query builder, which is something I would recommend you start doing. There are some basic settings here, but we're going to create a very quick selecting based off a column which is going to be our whole id we're going to use a test available for that specific column which in this case is going to be s and then we can either type or select a value here i'm going to choose to select here i'm just going to scroll down here and select this drill hole here now when i click ok here it's going to convert what we selected in that drop down menus into the text that's needed. I would also recommend that you give this some sort of easy to find name. So I'm just going to call it Finder2. And then I'll click OK. Now this filter is now available underneath the color. And I do have the hole or drill hole traces available in my scene. Therefore, I'm going to select it there in the query filters at the bottom of the screen. And now my drill hole has been selected. And if I want to highlight this in a higher way, I can go to look and then reset, which zooms into anything that you have visible in your scene. Thanks for now. In this example, we're going to look at when you need to select data based off two different columns in your data set. So like before, when you're creating a query filter from drill holes, it's easiest to create them directly from the color table. So by right clicking the color table, I'm going to create a new query filter. And as you can see here, I have a few different uh, columns to select from. So in this case, I'm going to click on the build button so I don't have to type it. And we are going to look at our great control holes that has been drilled based from a certain date. So by first collecting on my type, which is a category that I have imported, I can now select the in statement. I click on the build button here. And I can select both of my gray control holes here. And I can use shift and control here to multi-select. So now it's going to create either of, of these two. Now I'm also going to add a date. So a date completed. So you can see that I get a slightly different test because it's a different type of field. I'm going to click in on and before or on or before. And then I'm going to go back a few years here because it's an older data set and just select by the end of April 2007 should be fine. Click OK. Now this formats the timestamp correctly. Let's call it early gray control. And now, like before, I just simply apply this filter onto my currently visible dataset using the query filter option. And here we have the early datasets. Thank you.